Toe to the line, people. All right, here we go. Season, season four. Apparently, it's the eleventh hour. You know. So, uh, see how this is for a second. I mean, we're gonna play Battlefield anyway, regardless. But season four is out too, apparently, because I was gonna play it sooner. Jumped on, realized, oh wait, no, I have to update, so. There's that. But we're here. I don't know what has changed. Obviously, I'm about to just now start. Oh, but I'm looking over here for videos too. Got some videos, you know, like normal. Check out the screens. Let's see if everything's working like, because I forgot to check everything too. Let me check everything. Everything is good. That's cool. I like when everything's working out. Or I may have spoken too soon, but I think everything is working fine right now. Mayor of Chicago is out. Lori Lightfoot. Why her name is Lightfoot anyway? But the little lady, Chicago mayor, is out apparently. Breaking news or an hour ago. If anybody cares. She's funny looking. I hope she's doing okay, but God bless her is what I mean to say. All right, so let's get back to that motherfucking what's the name? Oh, shoot. I was almost 10 minutes in without cussing, but there we go. I don't even know if, like I said, that stuff matters anymore, but I'm just trying, you know? I'm trying to do my best. There we go. There goes the information I was just talking about. There. If anybody knows this mayor lady that I was talking about, she's pictured above me. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know if you can see that one. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. That one's funny. Hold on. There's some more. That's that's not a picture. That's a video, but you know, you get the you get the picture, right? All right, fuck it. Let's listen to Charles and White first. Since I already cursed in the first 10 minutes, and I'm, you know, fuck it. Let's just toss it up. The Lakers are getting cooked. Ooh, John Morant went all the way up for that one. I didn't see that one. That was in the first half or what? Dennis Schroeder was benched after this play. Holy shit. Jeez. <laughs> Schroeder, Schroeder, whatever. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, he said, you telling me to throw it up high, so I threw it up high. It just miscommunicated. Memphis got good defense, though. Stone Cold Steve Austin down there with D and AD up. AD be posting up soft, though, if you want to be honest. Schroeder got a point. Look at AD soft ass post up though. He wasn't giving him the hip. Like it's the end of the game and shit. You're supposed to get your position. But I feel it. Like it's always the point guard fall. Like he look at Gilbert Arenas like it. I don't know what he liking it for, you know, but whatever. Right, let's get into this shit. Let's see what Charleston White's saying real quick. A guy we start thinking, battlefield. When my woman go cheat with a man, she's emotionally invested unless she's a she don't love right. Only true. prostitutes can sleep with a man she's not emotionally invested in. Fact a true. woman has to have some. A man can literally stick his dick in a gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He can literally so stick his dick in a hole in the ground. Well, well, he, he, he's not emotionally. He, a, a man. <laughs> so has, that makes it okay. A, a man has no emotions tied to his penis. So when he lays with a woman and you say, "Well, you've been sleeping with her for years," he don't even like her. But when a woman lay with a man, it's <laughs> something about him she has to like. That's right. what I hurt a man even more. A man is saying, man, I'm sleeping with this woman. I don't even know. I sleep with somebody I don't know. I don't even like. 
none invested. But for you to lay down with this guy, you have to have something invested in. That's what hurts more. The fact that you say that, that is, is even true. worse because it then means that I have absolutely nothing. Like, well, you have to understand a man. Uh, when a man, if you could just stick uh, it in uh, a gas tank, uh, well, well, and then no, that's you value in your woman. Completely well, well, this is what, what a woman, James Harden this what a woman has to understand. Uh, what a man does with his penis has nothing to do with his emotions and his value. <laughs> Thank you. Which sucks. Which most men don't that really. Sucks even show then, emotions then y'all so. should never have anything to do with a man is mm -hmm. what i'm telling you because uh because a woman everything that a woman does so if you ask a woman what do you think about this she's gonna answer with her feelings she's gonna say well i feel like if you ask mm -hmm. a man well how do you feel he's gonna say what he thinks because he's not emotionally in tune with his, his feelings yeah by nature uh we're hunters right so we have to be analytical a, a hunter can't be in tune with his feelings because he wouldn't hunt out of fear. When it's dark outside, when the world had no lights, then he wouldn't provide food for his family because he would be afraid. So there's something in us that supersedes our feelings because we're analytics. A woman is more emotional because she has to nurture. She has to give life. She has to breathe life. And so when... A man I knows my woman sleep with this man. Man, she's way more invested into this man than I am when I sleep with a woman. Mm. A man will sleep with something he hates. A woman won't. So it's much more impactful when a woman lay down with a man because that's her heart. Her heart is between her legs. A man's not. So women think that our, our feelings are tied to our penis and man uh, a man has no emotions when it comes to sex don marco none whatsoever none whatsoever is his presence, is his presence what gives the woman like the heart i'm i'm trying to understand where does the heart come from oh uh, the, the, <laughs> yeah, where the, is the heart the, located the, 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 because there's no emotions listen, listen, so where is the heart listen, 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 listen. we're talking about uh, the way to a man's heart is through his belly no <laughs> yeah, that is, that is that is a good they have saying. Heads, yeah, like. they. So you're yeah. saying the woman didn't feed you enough, and you go and stick your penis in whatever I, I, was moving. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, it's like no, you didn't no, feed no, me. Listen, listen, talk talk to your grandmothers. Yeah, talk to your grandmothers and your great grandmothers, and I promise you, they would tell you a way to a man's heart is through his belly. A man that has a woman that are feeding supersedes a woman that are fucking. Mm. Shout them all. The, 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 oh my gosh. That's the, powerful, man. The, the, the average to today's women think that they can win us with their pussy. No, I mean, like, for a man they to can show know. the love, not how the woman gets the man. Uh, watching watching a woman give birth to your child will, will change how you treat her. Hmm. Uh, a, a woman forgiveness, a, a woman forgiving you uh, when she catch you lying will, will cause you to stop lying to her. Uh, a, a woman who expresses her hurt without anger uh will cause you to stop hurting her i guess it depends on the man no nah, it surely it does it, it, no, yeah because some men have no heart let, at let, all let, let, i want to i want to comment all, on that all too. men have heart when they meet the right woman when they meet the right woman they'll stop doing whatever they was doing before they met that woman to keep this woman facts to keep when they meet the right woman they'll jump through whatever hoops that they have to jump through even if it means denying themselves for this woman but how do you know uh uh you, actions i was just about to say actions. most most women don't understand right. like for the right woman that's for him he will cut off like you said earlier mm -hmm. a bunch of other girls he'll say you know what all right i'm gonna make a, a choice because she's worth it however if you're, if you're not worth that value to him He's gonna play, play the field. Like He's gonna fuck with you and you and you because you're not worth the value. So oh, he's thinking in a nutshell, cool. if you're a woman of value to that man, you put in the work for you by actions. Think think about, and I, I, I hate to bring this up, but I have to. Think about how great we, we say Dr. King is. Dr. Martin Luther King was a whoremonger, slept with many a women, and his wife mm -hmm. knew it. I did not know that. Everybody <laughs> knows that. I did not want that every, every, Everybody, Everybody <laughs> oh knows God. that. But mm -hmm. most women will say because he cheat, he's not a great man. Most women think because you've cheated on women that you're not a good man. Good man cheat. <laughs> it's hard for a woman to believe that. Good man cheat because all men cheat. 
all men will cheat except for the right woman mm -hmm. he don't want to hurt her so the hurt that he see that he causes her will stop him from cheating because he don't want to cause her that hurt so it has nothing to do with with with, with a man feeling some type of way more or less than it does a woman uh it's in his nature it's in his nature to not be with one woman except when he meets this one woman Happy he birthday, decides Joe. to go against his nature and deny himself so he don't hurt this woman mm. and, and and what pushes a man to that point the actions of the woman the actions of the woman Talking might be giving up too much for game low key y'all especially on that one he was telling it all but let me let me go ahead and try to see what this season whatever four is all about real quick got a flashpoint conquest how many people Ooh, 64 all right let's try that i think it's gonna be everything that they got in the game hopefully i didn't wait too long and like glitch the server or whatever you know how i did but these pictures are nice let me go back to these pictures while we wait for the server to figure out because y'all can't see it shit. i wish they were better quality but is this the guy who made that shit this picture is fire i know y'all can't see it but I ain't even tripping here. Y'all can look at that for a second. Fuck it. I'll look at the picture by myself. It's a cool painting. Man, this shit was crazy back then. Uh oh. Frame rate looks more stable. Stuff looks a little tighter. Time to get the into dodge into dodge okay i never heard it said that way you're being deployed to south africa in the richtersveld the site of an illegal american fuel operation their forces aren't looking to launch rockets this time they want the nopat rebels encamped here if you come across us take him dead or alive see how this but goes for a it's the new update it i think the map is reworked too the world needs it and we won't let America's secrets threaten us anymore. Nobody knows what's going on really though, right? Damn, it's already started. Goes tighter. I might have to. Most sectors on the battlefield. You have your orders. Execute them. That looks clean. The driving feels good. I don't know if they did anything to the driving, but it definitely feels tighter than it did a few days ago. Holy shit. Can I get in this tank? Oh, I'm in it. Cool. Good. We have secured family sector. Shit, found their tank! 130 meters! Come on. I hit it? Come on, man. What is that? Oh, they shot a tech card I drove in. Rocket follows you, so I gotta hold it to the target or fly slightly over it. Hostile mark, 150 meters. Dango spotted. Charlie sector has fallen to the enemy. Holy shit. Hostile mark. All right.
Oh, there's still somebody up there. Um. Yeah, there's a beacon up there. Can't hit it though. This is a little bit more stable. In frame rate and stuff. That was good. Seeing how I've almost played it every day for like a, a while. Enemy soldier mark, 200 meters. Tango on my mark. Threat sight. So hard to hit me. Oh, look at this guy. He already probably jumped off. Out of the hostile, 200 meters away. Holy shit. Oh, there's a tank up there. Marking threat. Yeah. There we go. Got him out of there. Holy shit, that was close. Hostile helicopter, 200 meters. He's scared now, look at him. Hostile helo located. Come on, man. This thing you gotta like fucking almost uh, like hit him on the head. It's gotta be a headshot almost. Here, here comes the rocket. I Left missed. Come oh, on. So hard to hit something with this fucking rocket. Oh, there's a jet behind us or something. Hold on, I think we're, yeah, we're winning, so there's no rush to be had right now. At least out of me, I'm not trying to rush. No, I'm not going to hit him, but it's definitely going to scare him. Got him. You got to drive up, though. I mean, he ain't got to, but he just, he got to upgrade his goddamn tank. Ain't hit shit with his rockets. I've located supplies. Oh, I got something in there. Got a hit marker on something. Oh, there go one of the roof. Oh, it's a tank trying to sneak up on us. Holy oh, shit, right here, bro. Yeah. Almost drove away. Yeah. He, tra he trapped. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, shit. I ain't try, I try to hop out just in case. I ain't want him to see four of us. Fuck that. Or C5, I always see C4. Oh, come on. Infantry on my mark! Southwest! American forces have occupied Echo Sector. Another tank. There we go. He's trying to be behind us. No, oh, where is that? Right here. Oh, he's trying to pull up behind us. Man down, 
Oh yeah. Oh shit, another one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can't reach him. Wow. Oh. Damn. Oh, he got mortar. He got a mortar pod. I ain't got one of those in mine. That's smooth. Damn. Definitely don't have one of those on my tanks. Let's see. Echo sector is now secure. Hostel them down to half strength. Our plan is effective. We hold more sectors than our enemy. Oh shit! <laughs> I was trying to throw the fucking C4 on him. He's a definitely a pro at tank driving because most people would have fucking, you know, lost it. Their shit right there. I got the tank. I got the tank. <laughs> got the final kill on the tank. Of course, it would be me. I got his homie right there hiding. Oh, I killed the sniper. Oh, my, this is my truck. I got it upgraded, so. I'm not really used to it. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, he just saved your life, bro. Fucking driving that thing in front of you. Spotted a hostile. 300 meters. Enemy aircraft. Damn. Oh, it's a motherfucking recoilless rocket. Matter of fact, that reminds me. Uh, recoilless rocket. I didn't know this until recently. Hold on. I didn't know this either, but we'll get to that in a second. Another say cheese video, but recoilless rocket. If you look up recoilless rockets, they've been having new shits for a long ass time. Actually, dang, like my bad. you got Hold on, it's a lot of good shit. Why aren't um, you guys? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Every time I go to get another video, I find a better video. So hold on. Hold on. Yeah, the game feels better though. Definitely. The updates have helped. Like I said. Yeah. Recoilless rockets. I gotta look that up later. Ooh, is this yeah, this is an old one. Alright. We'll check that out later though, but. Let's go over here and let's do a little infantry since we sat in the truck the whole time. Holy shit, yeah, this is a new map. Like a motherfucker, okay. I was wasting my time sitting in the truck. I could have been over here this whole time, okay. I ain't seen none of this before. Holy shit, what's going on? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh shit, oh, I couldn't even... How did he fucking get me? Where did he come from? Well, I don't know. I, I'm not going to judge the shooting on that one because that's the first, you know, attempt. And it was pretty far away from my gun. It probably wasn't the best idea to shoot it that far. Like, trying to test the limits, see what's possible anymore. Shit. 
They're upstairs. Oh shit. God damn, what's on the floor right there? The dot looks a little tighter. In the fucking uh, scope. Holy shit, yeah, the aim looks a lot better for whatever reason. Whatever they decided to change on the aim, I can definitely tell a difference. It's more of a feel. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I can definitely feel the difference on the shooting, whatever improvements they made or they said they made. Got a plane, they're gonna come from the back, damn it. Back to my spot. Yeah, they did something with the. With the Can you pick me up? I don't know what the. It's more a definition in the pixels or something, or they made the enemies you know, more visible. Something I can't explain. It, Holy shit! Oh, I thought he was up. I was going up to look for him. He's fucking crouching underneath. This map, there's a lot of places to hide in this map, I'll tell you that. So, let's go back here, try to get these motherfuckers to try hiding somewhere. Oh, I see, I think I see one. Fuck. Yeah, they definitely made the aim tighter. I like it, whatever they did to it. Oh, where'd that guy go? Did he kill him? Oh, I guess he did, yeah. Cool. He just ran through him, man. Cool. It was only one guy here. Great. Alright, let's see how the vehicles go. I need an armored vehicle at that position. It feels good, it looks good. I'm glad because Battlefield is so fun. I gotta play it. There's somebody here with me. Oh, of course. He's the way I didn't choose. That's the thing, there's so many possibilities in the game. They could be fucking anywhere. And then, you know, you wherever you pick, it's gonna be the where, place that they inevitably are not. That'd be on some John Wick type shit. Enemy just secured Holy shit, the motherfucker's over there now. In my goddamn vehicle. Holy shit, yep, not going over there, he sees me. Not gonna use the heal either, fuck that. Oh, we got the squad here, holy shit. I'm out. I miss him. Holy shit, I did. One of is out of deck. Yeah, got him occupied though. All right, where the fuck is he? He hop out. He didn't hop out. Oh, shit. He just took it like a man, I guess. He went down with the ship. Fuck that. Damn, I didn't get on. It was close. I didn't call for a ride. No, I want the dog. Fuck that. Damn, this shit's over. Already. This shit seemed fast, but I probably could have wasted half the time sitting in the fucking truck. Alright, let's see what they got to talk about over here. This one time. Great relationship. What, because what was it's not the problem? only because it's not only our problem. Why aren't you guys in successful or great relationships then? What, because what was it's not the problem? only because it's not only our problem. 
it's not women aren't only the problem because it has to the relationship is about two people two yeah. people have to be working <laughs> so on you a guys, so you guys saying that women have gotten smarter i'm trying mm -hmm. to say the women before you went through the same exact things that you guys are going through but they weren't successful they relationships is what i'm trying to say they would just going shut on. their mouth and Maybe hold on to their families the because family they didn't seats. have a job they didn't have yeah. a career they didn't have anywhere to go and god forbid they didn't have families to go back to with their children they were stuck with that same man oh, so who were smart. cheating on them that's smart so so you guys so hold on you guys are in y'all 20s <laughs> so you mean to tell me the 1990s women kept their mouth shut <laughs> no <laughs> the 1980s they women? didn't but they probably put up with more because they, they put couldn't up with do more. it on their own they yes. could, hold on hold, i mean hold, 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 far of a difference of a like sorry 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 the women who couldn't do it on their own was in the 60s the women in the 80s had food stamps welfare section eight mm. and child support that is true so they this so the women i'm referencing don't need a man they've been doing it on their own since the 90s yeah. But they still had men who cheated on them. Most women have been taking care of men since the 80s and the 90s. You guys are talking about grandmama them from the 60s who needed a man. We talking about the women from the 90s. My mother was born 60, never had a man in the household. Wow. I was born in the 70s, so I watched a whole group of women never needed a man. Mm -hmm. Right. But they were... They, most women today are dying single with no male companionship. Cats and dogs. Yeah, How are they better off than the women who had husbands who helped them raise the families? Yeah, but with the emotional with stability. The, right. With the with the women that did die single, what else did they have in their repertoire? They had probably a career or a place to stay. Like how you said, they yes. were supporting themselves. They probably had kids of their own if they probably never been married Here's been cold, hard, right, yeah. all, reality. All, all of them have dealt with the same kind of men that the women of the 40s in the 50s men haven't changed so i'm listening to you guys saying well we've gotten smarter and i'm saying well when you look at the results how have y'all gotten smarter when most of y'all don't have men Bam. and y'all are still dealing with the same type of men that your grandfathers grandmothers dealt with i mean men who lie doesn't... and cheat it's not about to have a man who lies and cheat. Right. That well, doesn't gauge our intelligence. Okay, though. here's the problem, like, ladies. You know I mean? uh, here, here's the thing. The, 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 we got to understand a cold, hard biological fact. Men are more interested in things. Women are more interested in people. One of the biggest contributors to a woman's overall fulfillment and happiness is children and a family. There's a reason why when two men meet, they shake hands and say, what do you do for a career? When two women meet, they hug each other and say, do you have a children? Are you married? Because women base their value on their social circle, who's around them, a.k.a. a family. Men base their value on their career and what they're able to achieve. So you can say, I have a career. I make my own money. That's fantastic when you're in your 20s and you're still attractive and you got a bunch of guys coming after you. But when you hit your 30s, get a little bit older, those same right. yacht invites aren't coming to the same level or the same amount of DMs are not to the same level. Uh, the, the, the caliber of men that you're dealing with aren't as high down. as they used to be when you're in your 20s. That's when the walls are going to start to close and you're going to realize, damn, I don't have as many options as I thought. And here's the thing. One of four women now is on antidepressant medication. Female anxiety and um, antidepressant medication has gone up. Prescriptions has gone up since the 1970s. Women have reported lower levels, lower levels of overall happiness since the 1970s as they become more empowered and more free. Explain that to me. Holy Feminism shit. is a lie. It tells you, go chase a career. Go make money. Be, get your bag. You're going to find that man just by making a lot of money, becoming successful. It's a lie. Women derive pleasure from children and a family mostly. And they proved this. They did a study in Ireland, actually, where they took women that were in the workforce. And when COVID happened, they went back home and worked from home. Then when it was time for them to go back to the workforce, most of the women elected to stay home and take care of their loved ones versus, versus entering the workforce. So what I would say is this. Most women, if given the choice, would prefer to have a man, children, work from home, and or do some type of job that's elective, not mandatory, and have a family. A lot of girls sit there and cope Universal and say, oh, welfare, feminism, hey. I want a career, etc." You know damn well that's not going to give you satisfaction. Damn. I don't really know. I have really opinion about that shit because they do what the fuck they want, apparently. <laughs> and have no, you know, repercussions or recourse normally, so I, I don't really know normal at this point. Holy shit. 
He thought he had us. Oh, so the aim shit is fixed, I think. That's what's fixed. It definitely feels smoother. Okay, I do feel what's going on, I think. You don't get like all wiggly when you're trying to re-aim again after you aimed once or whatever. Fuck, where's the guy then? Shit. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, that felt good though. I like it. Okay, we're already up there. Oh, oh. Holy shit. Definitely gotta get used to the gunplay now, though. Holy shit, did I not kill him? Holy shit, a truck, right? Yeah. I like it, I think they lower the auto aim too. It doesn't lock on as hard when you're moving. So like, it, it puts you in the direction, but then if you start moving, it doesn't I'll, I'll keep you held on to that lock, which is better for like uh, uh, gun battles. What is that? A new icon? That means I can spawn on him or something? I don't get it. Holy shit, that was cool though. Whoa, we got... Oh, they were... That means... I guess that meant they were in the elevator? Right, well, let me jump on it. Shit, what am I getting killed by? Oh, I can't jump. Fuck. Oh. Oh, they Oh, he's gonna come and get me. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I still gotta move it a little faster because the new little shit is. They got new stuff on the mini map too, like a big circle around that thing. I don't know what that means, but. It definitely kind of slows up the speed and then the like, rhythm I used to have, but. Again, just like a couple weeks ago when they decided to change the buttons. Uh, figured it out and I got over it. So we'll get Why over this too. You guys oh shit, that's his name. Alright, so let's 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 get on here and try to get another kill because the 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 gunplay mechanics have definitely changed. It's not as easy as it was, or or I should say different. It's definitely different. Oh, I got his ass! Hey! Right, go. I feel like the movement feels kind of the same, but they did something to the movement too. I don't know what it is, but... I feel a little bit, uh, I don't know, sluggish maybe is the word? Maybe they slowed down the movement a little bit? I don't know. I know they made the aiming a little bit cooler, though. I'll tell you that. What the fuck? Oh, of course. The person behind me. With a fucking little SMG. That's how it goes. Where is... Okay, that's why. I'll be getting turned around on, on this map. Uh, our team is... So now our base is to my back. What the fuck is this? Oh. That's crazy. This map is huge. Where's the fucking parachute? Oh, there it goes. I was about to say. They updated it and forgot the parachute. What the fuck? I just said, who's shooting at me already? Oh, somebody is in the car? Okay, cool. Yeah, this way. He 
We saved him, boys. Oh, they are right here. Let me park us over here somewhere, and we're gonna get out. Oh, we should back this thing up a little bit. Holy shit! Thought I could get him. I think that motherfucking uh, little—they had a little uh, remote control, whatever that little tactical thing is. It was trying to throw C4 on that vehicle, so I had to hop out. What is this icon? Does this mean like squad leader? Or oh, no? Okay, because he's on the stationary gun. You can. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Damn, that's crazy though. It definitely feels a little weird. Hold on, let me change something. We have taken more sectors than they have. Make sure we don't lose our advantage. So, did they change where these controller settings are too? Speed it up a little bit because that shit feels a little slow. Alright. This should be fine. I'll we'll keep it like that for now. Oh, shit, this fine. Are we losing this one anyway? Holy shit. How can you hit anything with this thing? Oh, I did get a marker though. Shit. What the fuck? Do I got a gun? Oh yeah, I gotta switch my shit. Oh yeah, I don't need that, huh? It feels a little slow going left and right. I was about to say, I don't even know how I pulled up into this spot so easy. Does this look pretty... We're jammed too, what the fuck? Yeah, it feels a little different, I don't know. What the... The tanks. The snipers. That's what I'm saying, that's the only thing. I'm about to get picked up though. Why does it sound like I can't hear shit? Is it the rain or is it? It's got to be a glitch, like audio glitch or something. Because no effect is supposed to last that long. Oh, I'm walking on the fucking thing. Oh, is that a tumbleweed? Oh, yeah, it's about two of them right here. I'm gonna get shot coming up here. I already know it. I have a feeling. I know, I know. Oh, shit. Why does it sound like this? Oh, it's because I'm jammed or something? Right behind me, the wall over there to the left. Uh, what? map is definitely different. Oh, shit. I'm trying to make sure I don't get him too far up. Holy shit, there goes one. I just seen him too. Fuck. Holy shit, they let me go all the way up. Reload, 
Holy oh, shit, get the fuck up out of here. You dumped this shit and took off, nigga. Holy shit, what the fuck? I was about to say, that gotta be above me. There you go. Oh shit, I know somebody shooting me. Holy shit. Over here. I wanna get all the way on the fucking roof. Oh shit, sniper. Holy shit. Fuck. There was a sniper on that side too? Or the sniper could still see me? What happened? There's so many snipers on this fucking ledge right here. That's fucked up. So I hid from one and then, oh yeah, that's what happened. I hid from the one down that angle. But there was one right next to me, so they were looking at me like, look at this guy. I don't understand what's up with the sound, though. It sounds like shh. I don't know why it's hacked like that. I don't know if that's a new feature or what, but that's not cool. So, yeah, they're winning this one easily. Holy shit, bro. Can't see shit in this motherfucker. They like got us pinned down like a motherfucker. There's 11 people in this one. Fuck it, I'm going for it. Where the fuck is that? The beacon right here, where the fuck is it be? Okay, nobody was around there because my dog would have got him. Alright, cool. Oh, there they are. Ah! Bitch! In the face. Oh, I like this gameplay right here. On the side of a mountain. Like Afghanistan and shit. Oh fuck. I couldn't, I didn't want to fall over. Holy shit, they're all just chilling right there in their vehicles and shit. On the ledges. Damn. The jet just crashed. Holy fuck, another sniper, of course. He's in here by himself. Let's hop in here and see what he's doing. Come on. That is a uh, stupid. that coming from whatever oh, good. oh back up back up this guy's uh smart enough to know when to back up so at least we got that holy shit somebody got us with the c4 or c5 that should be surprising as hell at least you don't see it coming well i'm supposed to but i didn't see it coming damn this map it's gonna take some time to get used to I know people probably say this about every new map on every game that's ever dropped, but this one is not that great. So, but I'm not, I'm gonna reserve judgment for I'm gonna give it a week or two because all the terrain changes and everything 
I guess this game, this map would be good on a game that's balanced, but since Battlefield is so unbalanced, it's probably kind of difficult. And I don't know what it feels, why it feels like a little slower. Just walking around generally feels a little slower. So maybe they did that to speed, slow the game down, make it a little bit more, um, I guess, simulation and less video game arcade feel because Battlefield was really fast. But I don't know. Nevertheless, we're moving on. I interviewed Ben Charles Man Campbell the other day, and uh, he and pretty much revealed that he he he, he pays for pay pussy. you know to have his way. <laughs> uh, he he revealed that he paid up to twelve thousand. Uh, he claims it's not tricking. The women the women want the money. Uh, he wants to he wants the you know the the pleasure. It saves a lot of time. Do you have children? Do we have children? I think he has four or five kids. Oh, uh, he should be getting that to an, an allowance. I would much rather give my kid that twelve thousand dollar nigga than pay twelve thousand dollar for a night of pleasure. I don't love my dick that much. <laughs> right. I don't love pleasure that much to get nobody twelve thousand dollars, nigga. And all I get is a nut. That's a sucker to me. I don't care how much money you got, nigga. You a sucker if you giving away that money for some pussy. Women don't respect tricks in no safe form or fashion. I don't give a damn how much money you give them. She would never have no respect for you as a man. All right, let's <laughs> go back and start this over. Johnson White, say cheese. Let's let everybody hear this real quick one time, just in case y'all didn't hear it the first time. I interviewed Batman Cabo the other day, and... Uh, he pretty much revealed that he 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 pays for, you know, to have his way. Uh, <laughs> uh, he he revealed that he paid up to twelve thousand. Uh, he claims it's not tricking. The women the women want the money. Uh, he wants to he wants the you know the the pleasure. It saves a lot of time. Do you have children? Do we have children? I think he has four or five kids. Oh, uh, he should be getting that to an, an allowance. I would much rather give my kids that $12,000 nigga than pay $12,000 for a night of pleasure. I don't love my dick that much. I don't love pleasure that much to get nobody $12,000 nigga. And all I get is a nut. That's a sucker to me. I don't care how much money you got nigga, you a sucker. If you giving away that money for some pussy. Women don't respect tricks in no shape, form or fashion. I don't give a damn how much money you give them. She would never have no respect for you as a man. I don't watch the good dick nigga not give nothing and get everything. Man, I don't watch the good dick nigga fuck his way to the top. Stingy, stealing, lying, doing every goddamn thing, not giving nothing but good dick. <laughs> it's called good dick nigga benefits. The nigga with the good dick got benefits. If, he, if a nigga with good dick, he ain't never got to get nobody $12,000. <laughs> never! That's a nigga got to go get his belly done, get his ass shaped That's up funny. by the doctor, get his eyebrows arched. <laughs> nigga ain't got no dead skin on the heel of his feet. What back my feet ugly in the motherfucker? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a nigga who lose his side teeth and got to go get it replaced. Man, a nigga that got good dick and let his hair get bald in the middle. <laughs> he can do everything but lose them two front teeth. Now, if you lose them two front teeth, won't nobody fuck him. But all them side teeth and them back teeth, he didn't even have bad breath. She just won't <laughs> fuck a dog style. He can't fuck missionaries. But no, nah, man, this in $12,000, he should be ashamed. No, nah, no, nah, homie, a player would never confess or profess to giving that kind of money. No, no, no. I come, I come from the every nigga conversation, talking up on it, the hunting, the macking. No, nah, man, I don't, I don't nigga, no, nah, time is money. Man, that money way more important than that time. Twelve thousand dollar man, way more important than this little time. I don't want to fuck that bad. Well, he said it, it wasn't twelve thousand every time. On average, it's two, three thousand. Man, if twelve I is the two, most. Twelve, 12 if is I the give most. You two thousand the first time, and we fuck, and we fucking good. That mean you, man. I'm going down on the money. Cause guess right. what I'm saying, <laughs> bitch. I'm gonna give you two, three thousand dollars. That's fine. And I'm finna fuck you, and you get the con. You get the money and you get the calm. I lose. You winning like, you get the money and you get the calm like a motherfucker. You got to get shouted somewhere. I'd rather shout you on the money than shout you on the dick. 
Because <laughs> I know once I keep giving you this dick, I can go to being sorry. Man, that, man, listen, a nigga that's keep going to go fuck, he ain't got to keep paying. Unless that's the arrangement from the get-go. So this is what I tell young niggas all the time. However you start out with a woman, nigga, that's how you got to keep going. So if you Most start death. out tricking, you can't yeah. stop tricking in the middle because y'all like each other. And y'all got feelings for each other. So no, nigga, most hoes are fucked for free, off the print. But like I said, he went and got his belly done. So he got to pay. He should have got that dick pump. He wouldn't have had to pay 12,000. If he so, would have so got that dick pump, I promise you, he would have deceased and stopped paying. But he went and spent his money on the wrong area of his body. Pumped his goddamn belly. Man, they crazy in a motherfucker. And he pumping money out. Man, they crazy. <laughs> so what do you call this? Is this tricking, simping? Oh, what, do you, what do you call this? Oh, uh, everybody know that's tricking. Uh, right. Tricking and simping is two different things. Uh, tricking is paying for pussy. Ain't no way around it. Ain't no, it ain't tricking if you got it. It's tricking if you buying pussy. If the arrangement is, I give you this money, you give me some pussy. Every time I see you, we have some engagement, and you got, you tricking, nigga. And that ought not to feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Damn. It's a dick shortage. Think about this. More women are born per man. For boys, especially in the black community, hmm. man, if he really could lift weights, <laughs> if, 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 if he, he really, really could, could lift, lift, weights, lift weights like he looked, because he looked like, like he, he lift weights, but he don't. He just a blowed up <laughs> nigga, you know, like the king <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if he really lift weights, oh, shit. If, if that nigga it's, really lift like weights he, and went in the white room laughing. with that kind of body, the nigga could fuck for free. <laughs> Pulling up in that motherfucking car he drive with right. all that jewelry. Yeah, exactly. man, your boy needs to go in the gym and put him a, a, a wife beat on and, and leave them drawers on the dresser and put them gray sweatpants on and go out there and work out with that body. He got the body they want to see. But man, I'm telling you, man, if you got, at the end of the day, homie, most women just won't be fucked good. They don't want to be well taken care of. Damn, <laughs> that's real. At the end of the day, homie, you, you can shove out all the money in the world, but boy, if you can't shove out that dick that they like, your ass in trouble. A lot of people with money on the internet, <laughs> like I noticed simple. a lot of rappers agreed with them. I noticed a lot of people who was having their way that's financially, right. they agreed with Band Man. But a lot of people outside of that, a lot of the average people, they disagree with Band Man. Oh, uh, say homie, oh, uh, it's the pool boy that get to fuck his woman while he out. You see what I'm saying? Right. Uh, while she come get the money from you, man, it's another nigga ain't giving her nothing. Mm. Banging her head up against the headboard <laughs> and telling her to shut up, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> mistreating her. Treating her like shit. Exactly. That's so funny. I always remember that guy. While you over here sucking her toe mm -hmm. or drinking whatever, drip out her pussy when you suck her pussy or eating whatever you eat out her ass. Uh, when you give her all that money, Whatever just know be doing. it's a no good, low down, dirty, lying motherfucker that break her heart, don't give her nothing but good dick okay. and heartache. So just remember, I must be Charleston the one White. causing the heartache, <laughs> then the one providing all the pleasure. <clears throat> Y'all heard it here first. It's Charleston always White somebody else. The nigga that make her cry get more anyway. Right? Mm. Yeah, the nigga that make her cry get way more than the nigga that make her smile. I'm telling you why I just say that a few minutes ago. Charleston White giving up way too much game, but I'm telling you, he don't miss, though. Ooh. I ain't never heard him miss yet, bro, and I've been listening to Charleston White for a couple years now. Three, maybe. Two, three years now. I ain't heard an interview where he made up a lie or didn't tell the truth. The man is, he don't miss. And, and when it, it's good because you know he is, you know what I'm saying? Every interview, he ain't miss. It ain't no show, he ain't putting on. That's some wisdom. Killing this game, and I ain't even really uh, killed nobody, and I'm in the 17th place. I'm cool with that. Tango mark around 90 meters from your position. Enemy 
soldier mark. Um, somebody fucking snuck up on it. I ain't even see it that time either. Sector echo in enemy hands. I just can't believe it. Every time, bro. The motherfucker be on point every time. They control more sectors than us. Move to counterattack. Hold on, let's do what we got with, with Charles and White again, because the last few been on. Stay cheese. Shout Future, out. one of the biggest artists in the world. Um, he was signed, well, he signed Boston Richie. And, um, you know, word on the street is he's not standing close to Boston Richie anymore because of that. Right? Uh, That's what he's supposed to do. Black men are dumb and stupid, including the future. <laughs> right? Uh, homie, when we he get to business, everybody. Street rules it don't don't matter, right? Business. Supposed to be money, right? Street rules don't involve business. Uh, I see guys trying to pull away from Gunner. I see people saying, homie, y'all, man, that's the fakest shit in the world, man. They talk about, homie, that's the fakest shit in the world. They haven't pulled back from T.I. All right. They haven't pulled back from Jim Jones. Jim Jones. They haven't pulled back from uh, all the people that love Nipsey Hussle to help testify to put Eric Holder in jail. So, they, homie, they so fake with this shit. Right. They so fake. T.I. got on, man, the same. Come on, homie. They so fake with this. T.I. took the stand and cooperated when Falun got killed. They took the stand, huh? They all cooperated. They were so happy. Wasn't nobody talking street when Nipsey Hussle got killed. Nobody in this industry was talking street when Nipsey Hussle got killed, my nigga. Everybody was hoping the police solve it. That's facts. They was hoping the police solve it. Right. They were definitely looking for Wasn't the police. Wasn't nobody talking gangster when Trayvon Martin got killed. So now all of a sudden, ain't nobody talking gangster when George Floyd got killed. Wasn't nobody saying, man, let's get the police. They was hoping the law finally worked. So what, why are these niggas so hypocritical, my nigga? That's why I hate niggas like these niggas, my nigga. I hate these niggas. Boston Richie, Gunner, homie. Gunner wasn't a gangster. You mean to tell me T.I. didn't tell on nobody when he got caught with all them guns, homie? The feds don't operate like that. Right. The feds do not operate like that. Somebody in the driver's seat now. Fuck. So, Future, and I love that nigga music, homie. But he a fraud too, my nigga. All of them. These niggas pull away from their kids. Peace. Mm. Let alone a rapper they done signed. That nigga walk away from his kids, my nigga. God all these niggas, homie, is the fakest niggas in the world with all that goddamn money. That's why the niggas at the bottom say, nah, nigga, Holy money shit, don't make bro. you real. We looking up at a bunch of fake ass, fraud ass, rich niggas, homie. Oh, yeah. That's why they you can't do no that. amongst the people. That's why they can't get no pussy without giving nobody no money. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo. Nah, my nigga, I'm, I'm, homie, listen. Everybody don't have to be gangster. It's all right to be afraid of a life sentence. It's all right, homie, to weigh the costs and benefits of telling and not telling. Dang. Do I want to go to prison and be loyal to my niggas while my mama, my girl, and my kids cry? They the only ones go come see me. My niggas may send me some money, but they ain't gonna send me the emotional support I need. They ain't gonna go check on my mama. So as I'm sitting here weighing this, do I set the record straight and say, I didn't have nothing to do with this? Do I tell the truth or do I snitch? If I wasn't in this car with y'all committing crimes, I ain't no snitch, people. All right. Future has a street, but a really, a really, he has a street fan base. He's, he's big. He's uh he's mainstream, but he still has a street fan base. Young Scooter, it's a lot of street guys in Young SBG, Scooter. uh free band gang. Uh, Young Scooter spoke out. 
Scooter and Boosie had a whole conversation about having a rap tour, and I know they were speaking about Gunna, Boston Richie. Um, but that would put like, a rat, Futures though. brand if he was to keep working with Boston Richie. He got because he came from a street background. He got song with Ti. How do they get past Ti? Mm. How do they yeah, get past some? They all they all TV, got damn feds. That's why. How do you get past Tip Holy and Toe? Holy shit. Tipping, tapping, they toe, tip. Bro. How do you get past that boy? Tip Not alone tip. that. All the other guys who have known to cooperate. It's more than just that. What? What's their justification? What's their justification? Homie, they even did the Carvette, Carvette kid like that. What's their justification when snitches are not getting stitches? Nigga, we don't know too many people that told nah, in the damn. BMF case. But a lot Where of them the niggas told them too. Mm -hmm. They ain't shame them niggas. They ain't shame now nigga from the BMF case. Holy shit. They done told. So, homie, what's... That's why I say they the new overseers. Nigga, if I'm making money and this nigga making me a lot of money, uh, so what? Nigga, you told. All right. He said, fuck it. Motherfucker making him a lot of money. You gotta, it's business. I can feel that. But you know, you can't pick a, a street. Well, music, I guess, it shouldn't be involved with the streets, but it is. Like Gip said, nigga, when he had to do shows in L.A., he had to be in L.A. in South Central and Compton, so just part of it. If you want to come make money in somebody else's town, you're going to have to, you know, deal with the consequences of dealing with the people in their town, in that town. And they usually be one to, you know, type of love shown they way. But yeah, let me be right back. Give me a minute. Let me just take a break for a second. Give me two seconds, though.
All right, so the game is almost over. That's why the music's sounding all crazy and shit. All right, let's see what this video is about real quick. I'm chilling for a second. The update's cool. It's whatever. It's not that great. I think you they speak, speed it back you, up. You were speaking so vocal about, like, the whole Tupa situation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just because, you know, people, you know, ran off with it and made a, a mockery out of his name. Um, and you flipped that with uh, King Vine, you know, attacking his persona, should I yeah. say that, the, the rapper persona. Yeah. Um, at any point, do you think, like, how would his mother feel about that? I don't give a f about a killer's mama. Tuka mama is a victim. Uh, there's no documentation that Tuka ever killed anybody. You never hear Tuka enemies say Tuka was a killer. He was a stepper. Tuka was a 15-year-old kid that got killed after a wrestling match he won. He got okay. suspended from school because he got into it with a teacher. Tuka was on the bus stop getting ready to come home with two girls before he got killed. He had just called his mother. Mama, I, got, I'm on my, I won my wrestling match. I'm on my way home. I know how to pay attention to details because God is in the details, right? What kid gets suspended from school, nigga, out of early and call home and say, Mama, I'm... No, nah, I'm mostly go out and bullshit. If I get suspended, my mama will have to find out later tonight. But I'm not going <laughs> to call and go home. Mama at home frying chicken. Okay, son, I'll see you in a little bit. What kid wrestles? What black kid, you know, different kind of kids get into wrestling? All right. So you got this kid over here. Then you look at King Von. How can you compare the two? You got one mother... Pleading, said, I only moved into this neighborhood to give my son a better life. Even when he moved over here, the kid that y'all think he a part of, he had to fight them at first. He wasn't just accepted. Tuka knew how to fight and could fight. He was charismatic with the girls. The girls liked him. And he knew in his neighborhood over here. Right. So he made friends with these guys. They told Tuka's mother that Tuka was a casualty of war. As if she was just supposed to accept that. Mm. She pleaded with the industry for years. His older brother was in boot camp. His older brother got out of boot camp. They said, say, man, we know who killed your brother. He went and crashed out. And it wasn't even the people. His sister had to go to a mental hospital because the world was smoking on Tuka now. That woman ain't had peace yet. Crazy. Her baby ain't killed nobody. Now let's look at King Von, mama. She been silent. I ain't ever seen her. She been silent. My mother said, son, silence is a form of agreement. Mm -hmm. And then looked at the judge. Silence is a form of agreement. Y'all killed an innocent white man, an innocent man. You in agreement with this? No, ma'am. What happened? What happened, son? Who did, did you shoot? What, what happened? No, mama, I didn't shoot nobody. So King Vaughn mama been silent. She ain't came out one time and said, man, if nothing else, let me say this. The little kid, Sammy. Little R&B kid singer mm -hmm. Sammy. Mm -hmm. His mother Sammy. was just charged for shooting another woman in the stomach for second degree murder. Dang. I was strolling on the internet and it says, Sammy Speaks. One of the first thing I looked for to see if he was going to address and acknowledge the victim's family. That's the first thing right. that young kid did. Even though his mama killed somebody. He said, I don't know what happened, so I ain't gonna speak on it. But you know what he did? He addressed the victims. Empathy and compassion right. for what my family member done to your family member. We don't become enemies because my family member made a choice to no, we're not, I'm not, we're not gonna divide us like that. My mama says, son, my brother been in prison for 31 years, nigga, on a capital that. murder case. Killing a nigga. Killed the nigga point blank range. Been in prison 31 years. My mama been to see that nigga every month for 31 years. She never complained when he called and said, Mama, they doing this to me. Son, I still get to come see you. I'll see you in a week. 
That other right. mama can't go see her baby. My mama always made us remember, even though I didn't pull the trigger, nigga, yeah, you had something to do with that man. Life being taken, son. You just as responsible. You just as responsible. So silence is a form of agreement. So I don't care what King, I don't care how I just, man, I don't give a fuck. I met Tuka Mama. I met Tuka Mama. So, boy, when you meet Tuka Mama, it's like meeting Coretta Scott King when you see her spirit. All she ever had for them people, homie, just to let her son rest in peace. And they offered her two concert tickets. <laughs> That's crazy. She would call the radio stations and everything. So when I finally got to connect with a homie uh, and heard the story of Tuka and what really went on, what happened, homie, how can you take sides with them niggas? How can you take sides with them niggas? FBG Duck was just a kid who was, him and Tuka was good, good friends. So this is his response to his best friend being killed when he should have been in counseling, should have been in therapy right. because he dealing with the post-traumatic stress disorder. He just lost his brother. He just lost his, so this kid should have been in therapy. So he used rap as an outlet, like a punching bag, and violence yeah, to hurt people. This ain't frustration, this hurt. Just causing other hurt to get other people hurt. Frustration is something you release. It don't carry on. Hurt carry on. These niggas ain't frustrated, they hurt. And they writing hurtful shit to get people hurt. I so, uh, I'm saying to myself, I wish I would have knew about this 10 years ago because this is awareness that we should have been saying, hey, man, don't y'all know kids is killing kids in Chicago at 10 years old? Home, I didn't know that shit was going on. Damn. I just found out about drill music and two of them three old. years ago. Like, That's where all old. this is. Why this man, why he talking about kids? Nigga, I just found out about this shit. I didn't know Lil Dirt. I didn't know none, none of these niggas. Boy, when I find out, I said, nigga, they gonna destroy us. This is the children of the corn. How black people ignored this as long as this shit been going on? These was kids. Nigga, we walk up and snatch guns out them niggas' hand when they were doing this. Right. It's too late now, though. You try to snatch it now, they will shoot you. So now you just gotta try to feed him. And talk the gun out of his hand. Put some money. Nigga, let me get by that gun from you. How much you want that motherfucker? All right, that's what you're supposed to do. 150, let me give you 250. Give it to him right now, man. And then show him how to get a job. But you try to take it now, boy, your ass in trouble. Because nobody's been connecting with them for a whole generation. So you cannot correct something that you don't have an established relationship with. Whether that's your woman, your dog. You can't even correct your dog if you ain't got a relationship with it. So how we go correct these kids and we don't even have established relationships with our own children, let alone the kids we don't know? Damn. I'm telling you, don't miss. Now let me uh, switch back over to this shit real quick. They ain't killed me yet. I've been driving around in this motherfucker for a minute. What's our current status? Oh, he out there. What's that hack? Why are they fucking with me? Now they got me driving backwards. They're expanding resources. And we need to weaken them further. Hit the rocks. There. 
Oh shit, why did he hit me? Repair on the move. I should upgrade it. See, there's motherfuckers up here too. Back in the truck, let's go. That's how we do it. Fucking coward. He's got the big tank and he's so scared he's toppling my shit over. Crazy. Get out of here, bro. You cat bitch. Uh oh. Fuck that. Yeah, I got a good guy up there. Okay, on the gun. Wait, is this their spawn? Oh, okay, it's not. I can go over there then. Fuck it, I'm going over there. Oh. Going down, bro. Popping up out of the hole right here. Where the fuck is it? Oh, I can't see him. Got the tag. 
Let's go. I can't get in and somebody's finding in my own shit. I'm stuck outside. Oh, shit. Let me see if I can get another one. Ooh. Oh, that was impossible. Oh, somebody's gonna come get me. Those fucking helicopters, though, I swear. And my fucking vehicle that I've been... My vehicle's upgraded like crazy. That's why it was hard for them to kill it. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna go down here. I want to see what's popping. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. I still killed his ass, though. Somebody from behind me had to get me. Man, and I don't even got my pistol on a semi-automatic or whatever, either. Or oh, is it a... It's a it's a, a different type of trigger. I can't think of what it's called. Binary, binary trigger, basically. It shoots, like, three times. It's, it's not even a binary trigger. It's some type of... There we go. Custom trigger. I'll show you. No, it is two times. All right, it's binary. Fuck, bro. Oh, I didn't even have my shit on because I was just sitting in the fucking vehicle. My vehicle is chilling now. Hold on. Guess I gotta wait. I gotta get used to this shit again. Oh, yeah, and I don't want this on. It's fucking going crazy. It's a base. New plan. Oh, they are. Oh, shit. Oh. Tango spotted. Ninety meters away from my position. Tango on my mark. Holy shit! What kind of gun is he at, huh? Why does it feel so slow? Jeez. That's invalid. Oh, I can't land on a roof. What is this? They definitely slowed the guys down. Okay, so it's only like works on the ground, not on the roof. That must have been a glitch too. Cause you, you should be able to drop it on the, on the ground like that. I shouldn't have jumped out of there. Holy shit! That wall is gone. Damn, he's fucking lucky behind that wall. Fuck, was that even good enough throw? He smoked his cell. See? He's probably gonna get me down. Holy shit! No, nope. he was waiting. The fucker was waiting, though. I thought he smoked himself, but he was waiting. He knew what he was doing. He been around a little bit. Charleston White. He, 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 he claims. OG Percy. You know, to have up White. a couple of uh, old block members. <laughs> <laughs> Recently? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, man, what, what, do you think that's, that's possible? You think that's really going on? Um, that's Charles impossible. That streams that can be poor, man. When Charleston walk around, y'all better pay Charleston some motherfuckers to get some Charleston some motherfuckers respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all put some respect on that fucking name. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, yeah, Charleston put the coldest move in the motherfucking world to me, because if that didn't make you believe me, you need to get out of there. Which one was that? What? Come on, don't make me repeat it, cuz. Hey, give me a light. I need a mother. Like, oh, Spring gonna make me say this. Shit. You gonna have this coming after me. But, then, but, I, but I got. I, I, but he come after me every day. Okay. I'm his number one rival. Thanks to Charleston, I done been broke, staying with my mama, Paul Dauphine, everything you can say for for years, and and you keep taking me to the top here. You got me four flat screen TVs and two laptops in this mother. You a bad mother. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ask the point. You see? Yeah. So we can't let you ain't got desktop and new friends just swing around chairs, yeah. good nice chairs in the background. Oh, <laughs> you got me looking oh, oh, no. yeah. Thank you, thank you, C White. Yeah, I can see right. <laughs> <laughs> uh now what was the question was? I had uh, one for you. You know, you? They, they, you know they they saying um on the internet that he you know he got three old block members locked up. No, he didn't Charles, they got their cell locked up. Mm, I right. tell y'all, y'all better leave Charleston a mother alone, man. When they see that Good. That, that's they fault. Uh, I, 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 I Holy shit. That, that, uh, you almost had me, bro. That, 
all the legal documents to say he is who he is. And you still playing with him, that's y'all fault. I wouldn't, yeah. cause that man is who he say he is. You hear me? I don't play with him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I congratulate the man. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be all type of next day. I was gonna say something about <laughs> uh. He keep trying to get. Uh, he tried to put me in a certain box, but uh, you can tell when the love is there, uh, cause he never said nothing new. Uh, he's scared of me because he didn't say so much. That he know he can't sit to me and make that up mm. unless you make that up. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't, I ain't trying to sue you. I don't want a public apology, but don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Leave, leave, leave good people, family members out of it. You know, see, you know, it's me and you. Yeah. Don't pick on the kids. Don't pick on the mama. Don't pick on the dying sisters. You know, the dying T. John, the dead brother. Yeah. Oh, I guess, I guess you do. I'm bullying. You can't with me then. That's what you see. Mm. <laughs> that's all. That's all it's telling me. When you talk about things around me, that means you can't fuck with me no more. You know what I'm saying? So um, nah, I, 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 I um, I don't let him live in my head rent free. You don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah, that gonna drive you crazy. You let that <laughs> nigga that you standing on your couch when you come yeah, and have. Charleston has a, uh, a hard way of saying things, and I have a, a righteous way of trying to say things. Uh, but the cold thing is we saying things. Do you think with both of y'all being from the same city, man, and 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 and, and both of y'all gaining uh, this this nationwide fame that y'all have, that y'all will ever be able to right? sit in the same room or sit on the same panel or sit on the same podcast and and politic like that? I'm telling you, he just told me about hell, man. I don't see the sitting there with a no sense for. Hmm. He said he wasn't gonna sit there with a car. He said, I ain't got no car. He said, well, right now, what the f I look like doing? Sitting up with a with no car, staying with his mama. Well, what the f I look like sitting up, sitting with a toxic, no sense, and ain't nothing but full of drama. Hello. I mean, I mean you can make it make sense if you want to. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, so, I, I mean, until we both clean that up, I guess, you know, to me, in my eyes, not, 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 not having a car shouldn't have nothing to do with our business. The f what, you see how now I'm gonna let y'all soak in that for a minute. Um, if y'all wanna see a coward at his best, that was the best move he could have seen. And this got no car. Wait a minute. I mean, so I mean, okay. We trying to make it make sense. What what that mean? We asking could y'all sit down and work together. Him not having a car means what to you working with him? Um. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't try to work with the n understand me? I know what type of man he is. He's a cross out. Uh, he, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, um, uh, he's not a righteous guy. Uh, he just portrays to be when he want to be. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's good to fool the people over here some of the time, but you can't feel rude all the time. Now, real can't say, cuz I don't, you know, I'm cool with that, cuz you got that. You got that. Now, I don't, you know, in real because I don't say, look, look at that person. If I'm, if I'm doing something supreme, my and I'm around supreme, and, and you doing some man, that's some bullshit. Like, come on, how is supreme? Come on, come on, cause don't do that, cause you know, I got to f you now, nigga. You know, I ain't with that now. No, cause I did that on my own. Well, you know, bro, you know, I be with you, though, homie. We got that, you know. No, I ain't with that now. I want to be cousin that my cousin with my mom. We don't do the man mama like that now. Mm. Come on, bro, that's that's just. Uh, cause now that nigga talking to everybody. Yeah, he a suicide Ooh, bomber. Ooh, they make a change like that now. That's yeah. what I told you. You know, when he get around me, he a suicide bomber. Cause nigga, I'm a blow, and anything around you can get blowed with it. Blow you, everything around you gonna blow up you with it. Like change, I told his partner, his homeboys, and everything. See when you uh, change it good. like that. Uh, cause that's I wish one of you niggas would jump in front of me. Yeah, you gonna need the real police. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I got that double XP need. too. I should be the better. Boy, I should jump stay in the vehicle. Run right over they motherfuckers. Yeah. Damn. That's why I do be, Dingleberry out. He keep talking. Woo, 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 woo about what them Percy did, Percy did. Cause I ain't, I ain't listen. Yeah, ain't ain't nothing to talk about. I, I don't, I don't throw that. Throw they weight on the line cause they see the weight. Clap them across your face like a cat. <laughs> Stick on your back like a cat. Playing with me. You hear me? I'm on fire. What the fuck? 
Understand me? If I can beat you, if I can't beat you, I'm just gonna cheat you. That's me. Do you feel like you being who you are, um, you creating your own wave, your own lane? Yeah, I've been in my yeah, own lane. Course. That's what got me to the 85 South show. Yeah. Um, Do you think that's why, you know, both of y'all are giants to yeah, everybody it, watching? Do you think that's why he come at you? Who else is uh, gonna come at you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, you gotta have a road runner. For sure. And you gotta have a coyote. It wouldn't be no cartoon show. Uh, with no, you gotta have a Tom in the gym. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta have a Superman and a Batman. You gotta have some bad, some bad, you know, some Jokers and Batman. Yeah. Does it make sense to you? I, I go through that, so I understand. <laughs> we got that Supreme. You got that? Okay. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Supreme. Yeah. I know you got that. You should know. It. You ask the question. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, you, know, you gotta have a, you, you say, uh, you just gotta pick the character you wanna be. Yeah. You wanna yeah. be the good one, or, 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 you know, you wanna save lives or you wanna hurt lives? Dig what I'm saying? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm asking because, um, okay. I'm a I'm a fan of both of y'all. Okay. For different reasons, you know what I'm saying. One of them yeah. and both of y'all from the same city, from my city. I'm a fan of both of y'all. Him and uh, Charles, you and Charles. I bet I started off a fan. I ain't gonna say a fan of friends. Right. Yeah. I'm a fan of both of y'all. We and I all sit at the round tables together. Yeah. Go ahead. I believe that that you know um, not to force anything or. or, or you know, like my opinion a, a means that much, but you know, we better together. You dig what I'm saying? Um, not even our best friends. You ain't got to hang out every day. You ain't got to talk every day. But if it's something for the better, the better of the, yeah. the whole, yes, sir. I, I feel like you would get down with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm always for the righteous. You hear me? I can't yeah. turn it down because it wouldn't make me right. For sure. Uh. Oh, God. See four guys be sneaking. Sometimes you get tired of looking on people that don't love you. Mm. So try to get tired of speaking to people that are too mean to speak back. Am I making sense to you? Well, that's how I feel. Oh, they underneath. Put I'm going on. underneath. Fuck it. Trouble don't last long. I don't remember how to get over there. <laughs> and it don't last all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> what do you feel about, um, like, in town politics, when out of town, or speak on things that don't have nothing to do with they, you know, they not even. I think, the city. I think, I think, I think, to speak on nothing if you don't own the city. That's the internet to speak nowadays. On, though. Don't own no blocks. Ain't on no streets. I've been doing this for years. Kill me, ain't nobody gonna bring me back. <laughs> yeah. Streets ain't gonna bring me back. Ain't gonna bring me back. Cause once you gone, believe me, you just gone. Uh. Yeah, on Eastwood, gonna stop six. Little jump on Como, on Pilot, cuz on Vertical Street, on Lewis Street, on such. Thing. As soon as you did, ain't none of that shit you was dying for gonna bring you back. Game of life. It's always jumping cuz of nothing. Cuz you know what? You know really what it is, Bob? It's really trying to find something to get into. Yeah, there we go. Like you said, Y'all yeah, be a part of it. Uh, down, you know, cool, did such and such. And when I, I be talking to you and I be talking, you be like, damn, oh yeah, what, what, what's that town with this on? No, nah, cool, this way down in Eaglewood. What kind of you talking about something around? <laughs> cool, don't know about. You, you feel that? <laughs> you feel that conversation? Oh, yeah. Got your attention the whole time, you thinking it's something to do. Oh yeah, this is in LA, cool. You sit here wasting my mother time. <laughs> And that's how I feel when is out of doing, getting other people beaten. They just what? Wasting their mother time. That's my answer to that. Gotcha. Hey, real tone, there's some real money in the room. There you go. He basically said he ain't tripping, but he ain't tripping. My Charleston wife. He didn't like the bringing up his mama and the fact that he don't got a car. But you know. Like dude said, he think he'll get over it. Man, what's all this new ass shit though? Like, I don't know what these things are. I gotta figure them out. But they cool looking. 
Uh, like, I don't know if y'all notice them. It's like little beacons all over the place. I don't know what they doing now or how it's helping. I guess I'll figure out like watching some videos today. But yeah, they're like, see these beacons on the mini map? This is like one right here. I don't know what they do. But yeah, that's cool. Top. So this ain't a good fucking map to play this character, but I like this character, so I'm sticking with it. Oh, I got him. He ain't see me coming. Got his ass. Got his jewelry. Holy shit, they got a nigga in the window right there. Oh, shot him in the fucking head. Oh, I got too, got too cocky. I was about to s celebrate a little bit, but then he slid at me. I shot in the head. Holy shit. Our troops have taken both sectors. What the fuck are they talking about? Holy shit. Do you see that small dot? That's what they want us to shoot at nowadays? Holy shit. Wow. I'm sitting there trying to get range on somebody and some dude just walked up on me. That's the life. The life we chose, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Right, hold on. Got like two more videos I'm gonna watch. Before I hop off after this. Because the update's cool, but like, I don't know. The distance on the shooting is fucking crazy, man. I see it feels like niggas are shooting from even further away now. Holy shit, that's not a good place to go. There's nowhere to hide right now. I'm running for my dear life. Hey, come on. Fuck. Fuck, I knew it. Once that door didn't open up, I knew I was dead. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Fuck this game. I just left courtside seat at the mother NBA game. I'm gonna pull up somewhere where it's a bunch of broken. Staying with a. Yeah, staying with a. And the toilet gets stopped up often. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is somewhere where the toilet gets stopped up often. Man, you play, man, mother take no hour shower when that mother water stay hot. Hour <laughs> talking to the wrong kind of. Yeah, Pull your wife up, see? Yeah, I can take an hour shower and the water still stay hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind of gotcha, you bitch. think I am? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. You ever been to Compton, see? Yeah, I've been to Compton. I done been all over Plenty LA. Of time, Long yeah. Beach, Compton. Oh, uh, yeah, I done been all there. I ain't never been to Compton. Yeah, I've been to that bunch of poor. And poor Compton? Poor children run down their mama and grandmama houses. Been lifting weights in the front yard oh, so the grass right. can't grow. <laughs> Cars broke down. I was saying, listen, I was in Compton. I saw a car was broke down the whole nine months I was out there, but he washed it every two days and wiped it down, but that mother never moved. <laughs> I ain't bull. <laughs> Wipe that that clean in the mother with them datings on it. Oh, uh, but that didn't move. <laughs> how's the uh how's the comedy tour going? Uh comedy tour going great, man. Uh seven show uh sold out consecutively. Uh seven shows sold out consecutively. There you so, go. Uh, Talk I've been in Atlantic life. City, New Jersey this week, this weekend, man. Selling uh, you know, out performing shows. in and around them uh, uh, casinos. Uh, I, I, I've superseded. Uh, well, I've exceeded everybody's expectations. Uh, That's good, man. I like y'all. Most I people mean, said I shouldn't. I shouldn't headline. Holy uh, most shit! Most people bro. thought. Come uh, on, man. You couldn't headline. I didn't have enough blah, blah, experience blah. Uh, to be a headliner, uh, and so I've been headlining, man. Uh, doing a great job knock, knocking it out the park you've been getting a lot of love from other comedians that you meet in person and different different people yeah in general people love you bro yeah uh yeah man shout out to drewski uh uh shouty shouty uh man the the, the comedians in dc man uh the brother that, uh yeah it, i've been getting a lot of love uh my problem is with uh 
you know, like like the agency I was with, uh, and and the people in the industry who know more, <coughs> they try to f over you. Yeah. Hmm. There uh, go. It's business. They call the, it. The establishments, uh, you know, unless they really establishments don't really like dealing with the agencies. The agencies are like the middleman in the streets. They just setting up some homie, getting some money, and most of the time usually are, 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 are in the way or become a hindrance. Mm -hmm. uh, most are a hindrance. Damn, I fucked it up. I Why, fucked it up. What made you, uh, like, was that just like the standard thing that you felt like you had to go through I, in I order to get into the, I, I the comedy know, world? I, I didn't know what to do, homie. Uh, I ain't know nothing about comedy. Uh, I had uh, my my home girl, uh, my my long time friend of mine. She introduced me to uh, a, a a lady who has a management company, but n normally deals with you know music and entertainment. Uh, I got booked for I got booked for a ten thousand uh, dollar comedy show uh, at the uh, Uptown at Atlanta Comedy Corner. Uh, BET weekend, so that's my first show ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do comedy. Uh, the manager before that was talking to people, and they was wanting me to pay. To do oh, they wanted comedy. you to pay oh, to go and do a comedy show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted me to pay, buy the venue, and split the money with my. But that didn't Bar make sense to me. So I said, man, something no, ain't no. right. Something can't be right. Uh, when you don't know, you don't know. So yeah. it's just like a rapper, homie. If you don't know how to get in the industry, homie, the first person come along and seem like they're making sense or they can take you somewhere. You say, okay, man, let me take a chance with this person. Uh, this is what I know. When you don't know and you don't have the ability or, or, or the means to, to find out, then you got to get to find out. Mm. You got to get to learn. So anytime yeah. you get into this, the music industry, exactly, uh, that's been it. You got to get to learn because nobody's gonna teach you. Uh, when people find out you don't know, they're gonna exploit that and take advantage Hell of you yeah. not knowing. So uh, I didn't know that I don't, I don't have to have a manager because I already have a big following, mm -hmm. right? I'm already, I'm already getting booked for interviews, so I don't have to get nobody twenty percent of my money. Mm. But I'm willing to do that to learn. Mm. I'm willing to get to learn because a, a lot of times, homie, uh, the the your only blessing is the lesson that you learn. Yeah. So uh, if nobody's gonna teach me and I don't have no other way of finding out, then okay, I I take the. But w while I'm taking the, I'm learning and paying attention so I can minimize how long I get. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I pay very close attention so I can minimize how long I take the f So this manager, uh, I don't know nobody in Atlanta in the comedy world. So, you know, they know some people that know some people. I get $10,000 booking, uh, $5,000 up front, $5,000 on the back end, uh, no percentage of the door. I don't know how to negotiate none of this. Yeah. For one, I just love doing what I'm doing, for one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm making money doing it. And I didn't show That's up for it, but I know I got to get to learn how else I'm going to learn. Mm. So, so I do the comedy show. I, you know, supersede, I, I exceed everybody's expectations. So now they're saying, man, this guy can kind of be good if he take it serious. So now people want to see if I'm going to take it serious. So, uh, so the, the, the manager knows the comedy club owner, right? The cover the comedy club owner knows the talent agency. Mm -hmm. The talent agency knows all the comedy club that you can get booked in. Yeah. <clears throat> you can't just show up and get yourself booked at all these comedy clubs if you don't know nobody. Yeah. You have to have a way in. The white people normally don't deal with the agencies. The improvs and all that, mm -hmm. they don't deal with the agencies nor the, they don't like dealing with the, let me just say that. Yeah. The agencies nor, nor, nor oh, really the managers, got rocking, that's that's say. So your managers have to prove themselves, right? They have to prove themselves to be, but if they're not, then they're gonna be the ones making the backroom deals without you, without you knowing, the side deals. You can almost watch every movie, homie. 
if you watch Ray Charles, mm -hmm. did it in Ray Charles. At yeah. the end, Elvis, everybody, everybody was over Ray Charles. Whitney. Ray Charles had one loyal Damn, friend I seen it that was late. the driver, the guy Clifton Powell paid. Mm -hmm. Even in the end, Clifton Powell started start stealing, mm. making side deals. Mm -hmm. So when you look at uh, what's happening with Glorilla, uh, they came out and said that pe people been booking her and her people running off with the money. You can't control that as the artist, as the comedian, as the, as the NFL player, as the basketball player. You gotta trust it when your manager get a phone call because all the manager really is is a secretary. All right. Setting up the shit for you. Oh yeah, yeah. On that note, shit, we finna, we finna holler at y'all motherfuckers later though, for real. I got some other shit I'm finna get into, probably make a beat or something. Appreciate it if you, uh, you know, hit the like button. If not, that's cool too. I don't really give a fuck. I'll come back and try again tomorrow and earn it the old fashioned way. But yeah though, y'all motherfuckers stay up. Oh, man.